Hey guys, Christina here, and I have a huge grocery shop behind me. Mostly Costco, a little bit of Superstore. We've been working on getting our three month food supply kind of built up, and so we've been buying extra. And I thought it's been a while since I filmed anything to do with food, so I will turn the camera around and give you a look at what we got. All right, we will start over here. So we've got burgers, beef burgers. We've got two different things of ground beef. The price right now is, right now is $8.99 per kilogram. Yikes. We do have steak. We have a special occasion coming up and we're gonna have steak. We have a salmon over here. Oh. We have pork and we have beef. We have three whole chickens. I forgot to put, or to get um, frozen chicken breast, so we don't have any of that now. But this meat should last us anywhere from four to eight weeks. Picked up spring rolls. These are a fun dinner to have with other food sometimes. Some battered fish, some meatballs, two things of ham, some sliced cheese. We got a total of six of these bags of the mixed and four of these. Normally we buy in, unless these are on sale, we buy like the big blocks and shred them, but with hurting my arm a few weeks ago, I can't shred anything. So that is just how we bought it. <laughs> we got three Greek yogurt, five things of butter, big thing of cream cheese here, two things of milk. We don't go through a lot of milk, so we freeze and get smaller ones. We've got the Alaskan soul fillets frozen blueberries, there's frozen broccoli in the back here. And then this is where you can really kind of see that we're stocking up a bit. So we've got eggs as typical. We've got gravy mix. We've got two of these maple syrups. Let's see. We've got three of these pancake mixes. Two bacon. One big tub of Crisco. Two bags of avocados here. Yogurt. We got a thing of mayo, two things of chocolate chips, two humongous things of pickles. I don't know how those are gonna fit in the fridge. Then we've got doubles of all of these. Two taco seasoning, two garlic powder, two sea salt, two pepper, because we really didn't have many extra spices. Two Montreal steak, so we can really stock up. So if we have something happen where we can't get to the grocery store, we have extra spices. We have two double packs, so four things of salsa. We just got one of barbecue sauce, malt vinegar, only one sriracha right now. Some peppers that we needed. Two boxes of almond milk. I think there might actually be a third one somewhere though, because I think there was three. Um, a box of chicken broth, some tortilla chips. We've got cucumbers. These grapes were only um, $3 for two pounds. So we got some grapes, two bags of spinach. I usually keep one in the freezer and one fresh. Big thing of garlic, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, one thing of tortillas. You can hear kids laughing and giggling. There's um, 36 tortillas in there, so that will last us a while. So this is the majority. We also got some dessert, some ice cream for some things we have coming up. The kids bought a few little treats for themselves, and I'll show you what else. We needed some new dishcloths. We got two of um, dish tabs for the dishwasher, another box of these, so there's two times 30. Um, and then we also got paper towel, toilet paper, and Kleenex on top of this. So a huge food stock up, and I'll show you what my freezer and the basement area we've done, how we've changed it to store some of this. So here's what our freezer looks like now. Everything's put away except for the meat. We still need to portion, so those will kind of fit in here, but it will be pretty full for a while. I'm trying to keep butter on hand. We've got yeast in here as well. The milk, that, vegetables. We've got fruit in here. Again, kind of everything we just bought in here. As you can see, it's pretty full right now but that will be we won't probably go back to costco we're trying to go about every two months now so this will last us a while so here's our basement space you can see a whole bunch of things we just bought waiting for me to put away some other things we previously bought but i have not put away properly yet i'm still waiting to 
get everything I need. But what we did was we took the three shelves we had and put them kind of this way so we could get in on both sides. We have all of our canning. We've got apples, which we'll be doing more soon, applesauce. I think those are peaches, canned tomatoes, canned pears. We have jalapenos over there. These all have um, lentils or beans in them, garbanzo beans, lentils, what else, black beans, pinto beans. And they're in large bags, but I'm actually using them like every couple of weeks making them. So we're slowly going through those. We have a big jug of oil here. We've got some almond milk, some vinegar, some canned fruit, some canned tuna and beef, some rice, peanut butter and jam, oats. We've got pastas, a few pasta sauce, noodles, more pasta. We do have some of this Nutri-Store. We have green bean, onion, corn. What's this one? Broccoli. Carrots, we have two of. And there should be one more. Here's the other one. All the way over here. These are potato. So we do have some of those, but we're not, we're trying not to like exclusively keep those. These are some spices we have ketchup I can't really get in the other side right now because it's all the stuff I need to put away but we have extra toilet paper and Kleenex um, these Lysol wipes are from before COVID-19 I still have not been able to get Lysol wipes um, even today apparently there were three pallets delivered to Costco this morning and they were gone before lunchtime so <laughs> haven't been able to get those yet that's all we have left Band-aids, paper towels. We have household things like um, tin foil and such down there. Soap pads, razors, shaving cream. <laughs> and over here you can see a little bit more. We've got quinoa, some broth, some more lentils, oats, some baking stuff, some cereal. We have white flour here. We have three humongous bags of rice. They were super cheap, so we got them. One of these has sugar in it. One has whole wheat flour in it. And a whole lot of stuff I need to put away. And then we keep this down here in the summer just because it's cooler. We've got some bottled water. We have this jug of water. We have two big blue jugs of water as well. We keep one in our garage and the other one's just around the corner. But yeah, once this gets put away, it should be a little tidier, at least. <laughs> but we're working on that three month plus longer food storage. So what we have upstairs in our pantry is like a month's worth kind of of food and things we need and everything else is just being put down here. Hopefully this is going to set us up. I'm just going to buy as we have a little bit of money or things go on sale to kind of stock everything up. Yeah, and today's shop will definitely help because we got a lot of extra stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys have a short term or long term food storage as well and kind of how you store it. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.